Lori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We're counting down today's juiciest stories, mapalokal man o international, and it's a Friday. So let's get right to it. Let's start with today's number 10. Jado Ineza stars in Teleserie for the first time and it is a TV5 and ABS-CBN collab. Ito ang nagbabagang collaboration ng Kapatid at Kapamilya Entertainment under JRB Creative Production as they officially launched Nag-aapoy na damdamin. Its recent launch, the star-studded cast was introduced including Ria Taide, Jado Ineza, Tori Labrusca, JC De Vera with Joko Diaz, Mayla Gumila, Kim Rodriguez and Nico Antonio under the direction of FM Reyes expect a wild and fiery scene coming on television soon on TV5. All right, right now let's talk about number nine. Eddie Murphy is in talks to star in Pink Panther. I haven't heard about Pink Panther in a while, but yeah, it's been a parang decade na ata, di ba? Pero actor and comedian Eddie Murphy is in talks to star in Pink Panther, an MGM property based on a classic story. And according to The Hollywood Reporter, Eddie might star as Inspector Clouseau with Jeff Fowler as director and Chris Bemmer as the writer. The project is still in development stage, but it might be a live action CG hybrid. Bread. Eddie is known for head comedy like Beverly Hills Cop, The Naughty Professor, and Dr. Do Little. All right, number seven. All right, number eight. Buckingham Palace doesn't want to comment on the Prince Harry and Meghan Markle car chase incident. The car chase incident invo involving Prince Harry and Meghan Markle described as near catastrophic by media headlines. Amid the news about it, Buckingham Palace had no comment on the incident. And according to people, they get the side of the palace, but typically the, they do not comment on matters involving Prince Harry and Meghan since they did step out of their royal roles. The, we did report that the couple and the mother were chasing by paparazzi for a good two hours after an event in New York City. In his latest update, Reuters interviewed the taxi driver who drove the couple, and this is what he said. Prince Harry sat behind me, uh, Megan sat in the middle, and the other lady sat on the left. So I was going down 67th Street, East 67. I see a guy in a suit hail me. And he goes, listen, are you empty? I go, yes. And he goes, are you looking for a fare? And I was like, of course. And uh, he goes, pull over to the right. So I pull over to the right. And uh, a few minutes later, I see three people hop out of a black car right into uh, my cab. And it was Prince Harry and Megan. And there was another woman with them as well. And then as we go drive straight and as we're going straight, a uh, garbage truck was blocking us. He was picking up trash and um, all of a sudden paparazzi came out of nowhere and just started flashing, uh, taking pictures and, uh, you know, and they didn't stop until the security got out and said, move, move, move. And then the garbage truck got out of the way and the paparazzi were following the car. And Prince Harry and his wife and the other lady, they were nervous and they looked scared. I don't think there would have been an accident because there was not that much traffic at nighttime, you know, but you never know, right? If the one of the paparazzi decides to cut me off or anything like that, it is possible. Number seven. Billie Eilish and Jesse Rutherford Ford did part ways. Yes, single na ulit si Billie Eilish, the rep of the Grammy winner tells several entertainment sites that it's confirmed that Billy and Jesse did part ways amicably, but they remain as good friends and all the cheating rumors are false. Both are currently single right now. Lately, fans noticed that the two did not hang out and are not, well, talking about each other. It added fuel to the fire. And yes, at least they did confirm that they called it quits. Right now, let's move on to number six. Britney Spears shares PDA moment with Samish Ghari. 
Wow, putting rumors at bay. Britney Spears is in the mood to share some sweet PDA moment with Sam Asghari, the husband. In a video showing their passionate kiss with each other, Britney wrote she feels so blessed to be in such an incredible relationship with a husband. The couple met back in 2016, and that's the set of Britney's Slumber Party music video. They did get engaged. They tied the knot in L.A. with an intimate number of superstars. And number five. Chris Hemsworth to visit Manila. OMG. Chris Hemsworth is heading to the Philippines to meet his Filipino fans. The Donkey actor is set to promote his latest Netflix film, Extraction 2. Here's what he said Hey, Chris here. Look, I'll keep this quick, but I'm filling you in on some pretty exciting news. I'm coming to the Philippines soon. I'll be flying to Manila this June for the premiere of Extraction 2, where I play Tyler Rake. I don't want you to miss out, so please come join me. It'll be fun. Can't wait to see you all there soon. Take care. Goodbye for now. Grabe na kaka-pressure, June 5. Kailangan ko magpaganda. Charot. Hindi, kasi part pala tayo nung kick-off ng Global Tour nung Extraction 2. OM! So, tingnan natin ang mga pakulo rito ni Papa Chris at siya magpupunta. Nako, malaki yung expectations natin dyan! But anyway, magbubuo na tayo to number 4. There are several Filipinos at the Cannes Film Festival, jaw-dropping. Wow, show-stopping. Let's talk about it. Hindi lang si Kylie Versosa ang nag-moment sa Cannes Film Festival. There's also super hot Pia words back na na malalava red gown. And of course, Lisa Dino Seguera who shared snaps with fellows who attended like Enchong D, Arjo Ataide, Lorna Tolentino, and many more. Represent. Now, before we move on, nagpasahada lang tayo sa top three. Binibining Pilipinas Cebu has said sorry for his Antonino national costume that has gone viral over the net. At number two, Gloria Diaz has reacted to Michelle D's win in Miss Universe. And at number one, an update on the rumors surrounding Blackpink Jenny and BDS's V. Before that, we do have our celebrity billboard. Here is that, the first trailer of the highly anticipated Martin Scorsese film, Killers of the Flowers Moon is finally out. Kinilabutan ako. Leonardo DiCaprio. That's my comment. OMG. Well, ang galing din ni Robert De Niro, mga patitig-titig nila. I am expecting so much from this film. And the movie is set to be released in theaters and on Apple this October. We stand a new hot couple on the big screen, Strange Way of Life, the gay western short film starring Ethan Hawke and Pedro Pascal is finally premiered at Cannes. Director Pedro Almodovar ex felt excited and nervous at the same time as he addressed the audience of their film. Pedro Pascal was absent during the premiere due to his commitment to the sequel of Gladiator. However, he did receive praises with co-star Ethan Hawke who said Pedro is very attractive, extremely talented man. Right now, let's move on to number three. Bini Bini Filipinas candidate says sorry for Santo Nino national costume after receiving backlash from social media. Her Santo Nino national costume in Bini Bini Filipinas Joy the Coron of Cebu spoke out and shared her thoughts on the controversies. And according to Joy, she did coordinate with the administration of the Basilica of Santo Nino in Cebu before doing that. Here's what she said. So before po ginawa yung national costume ko, may approval po siya from BBCI and of course may blessing din sa uh, bishop natin sa Cebu. So we didn't expect the commotion na nangyari and apologize to everyone sa mga nangyayari. Yun nga, sana maintindihan, maintindihan nila na I just want to be free na national speech. May it will serve as a lesson to everyone. Gloria Diaz reacts to Michelle D's win in Miss Universe Philippines. And known for her straight-to-the-point comments and views, Miss Universe 1969 only has good words. And according to Gloria, Michelle is doing great. She's happy for her friend Mimi, Melanie Marquez, who's the mom of Michelle D. Here's her advice and her message. Michelle, of anak siya ni Mimi, Melanie. I was so happy for her kasi nakailan try na siya. So kahit pa paano, three times? Second for Miss Second Universe. Universe. First for Miss World. So that's good. At least you know what your weakness is. You improve. Not working. Uh -huh. so, nakita uh -huh. ko lang that she was crowned. Uh -huh. so, uh, very nice. 
and Mimi was so proud. I cannot imagine how I can imagine that it must be more um, nakaka proud. So, parang naisip ko kung si Aba, my daughter, or my daughter Isabel, would have been. I would be so nervous, siguro during the contest. Baka ako na ang aakyat sa stage doon. Ako na magpo-corona sa... Ma'am, anong advice nyo kay Michelle ngayon? Kasi ganun din eh. Ganun yung nararamdaman niya ngayon. Wala lang. Wala lang. Kasi, how's that that saying in Tagalog? Ang nagbubunga. Ang ano? Ang punong nagbubunga. Siyempre, babatuhin nila yan. But just do your best. Enjoy. And, um... Just pretend they don't exist, di ba? For number one, let's talk about the Blackpink and BDS collab we never knew existed. Well, we did know, but we never knew coming our way. Well, it is, well, the camp of V and Jenny reacting to the dating rumors. The management of the both uh, superstars have reacted. This is, as well, as a freelance photographer posted videos on social media of the couple na pa sway sway pa, pero sabi ng hi, as well as YG, it's difficult to say talaga at this point if it's really V and Jenny on the video. Before we end, we do have a reminder for everybody to ensure it's safe from, uh, well, the intense heat. Please stay away from the sun, stay hydrated, get your nutrition up. That's it for today. I just recovered. I feel great. Woo! With my energy again. I love you guys. Happy Friday. That's it. Let's start my countdown Mondays to Fridays, 445, 1 News, 1 PH, and Radio Cinco, 92.3 True FM. I'm MJ Marfori. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is Celebrity Top 10. Hey.